In this week's Our Story, Our Life, we will visit the southernmost community of the Buyuma tribe, the Gadibu community, and find out its history and how it got its name. Introduction of Gadibu in Our Story, Our Life. According to legends, the Puyuma tribe is divided into two groups. Pumantra Kana Brasa, or stone group, whose ancestors originated from stones, and Pumantra Kana Basikal, or bamboo group, whose ancestors were born from bamboos. The stone group centers on Katipal, while the bamboo group is based in Puyuma. Katipal is the southernmost among the ten Puyuma communities. Within the community's traditional territory is the famous Shirban Hot Spring, which attracts many visitors. However, most do not know the history of its name. Long ago, the community had no name, so members decided to name the community Katipol, the name of the previous location and the deep mountains where their ancestors lived. According to records in the Katipol community, the word means unity or combination in Piyuma language. After Taiwan's retrocession following the Second World War, the nationalist government translated the name into Chinese characters, Shirban, based on the pronunciation of the indigenous name in Japanese and Taiwanese. The Chinese name, which also means to remember, the origin and be grateful, best describes the spirit of the community. Although Katipal ancestors relocated many times, their descendants have never forgotten the community's original name, Katipal. Even now, with a Chinese name, locals still call their community Katipal. Various policies of the Japanese colonial government had forced the community to relocate. <laughs> Kata <laughs> Documentations of Katipol community indicate that the community had relocated many times. The three major families of Katipol community, the Mabaliyo, Lovamiyo and Pakaluku families have lived together ever since the beginning of Japanese colonization until now. They have also preserved the Karuma'am, an ancestor's spirit house, and Balaguam, a male training center. This kind of unity allowed the Katipol community to revive its Basibas, a youth ritual, and Nukasa Ta Mangangao, a joint annual ritual, after 60 years of hiatus. According to Chen Shen Mei, a cultural worker in Katipol community, under Japanese rule, the community members had to report to authorities every time they held a festival. Both the Japanese and the nationalist government viewed annual rituals as bad practices and demanded that they stopped. This caused a large cultural gap in Katipol community history, resulting in great regret. <laughs> Kuma 
barasan ko mo. Har mo dyan mo. Papanayan dyan masad ko. Asa dyan mo dyan. Kwateng no amo. O to dyan mo. Paparisyan na mo. O kakwaya na nahin mo na yan. Kumana rin. To dawaya mo dyan har mo na. Kumana yan na. Mangaya mo ma. Na ruwa na ta barasan. Malo har mo na ta kakwaya na. The traditional rituals of Katipol community were not practiced for a long time, but they were not forgotten by community members. After 60 years of hiatus, the locals have successfully revived their cultural heritage, passed down from their ancestors. TITV Weekly.